We will now take you through it, one step at a time. From your handbook, which we supply, choose the required text. OK, let's say text number 3. Now select an image, for example, G. For our example, we have chosen to use text number 3 and image G, which becomes file 3G in your printer plate system on your computer. Once file 3G has been opened, the image will appear along with the style of writing you have chosen. Now simply change the name and date of death. Now you're ready to print. Once printed, remove the pre-cut slip of backing paper from the vinyl edge as shown. Align and attach the exposed vinyl edge to the front of the plate. Now turn the plate over and position the vinyl sheet as shown, with the details facing in an upwards position. Allow the vinyl sheet to enter fully into slot A, then lift the plate up and pass it through slot B, which completes your plate. Once printed, remove the pre-cut slip of backing paper from the vinyl edge as shown. Align and attach the exposed vinyl edge to the front of the plate. Now turn the plate over with the details facing in an upwards position. Allow the vinyl sheet to enter fully into slot A, then lift the plate up and pass it through slot B, which completes your plate. Now we will complete a smaller size plate. Once printed, remove the pre-cut slip of backing paper from the vinyl edge as shown. Align and attach the exposed vinyl edge to the front of the plate. Allow the vinyl sheet to enter fully into slot A, then lift the plate up and pass it through slot B, using both thumbs to apply equal pressure which completes your plate.
Once printed, remove the pre-cut slip of backing paper from the vinyl edge as shown. Align and attach the exposed vinyl edge to the front of the plate. Now turn the plate over with the details facing in an upwards position. Allow the vinyl sheet to enter fully into slot A, then lift the plate up and pass it through slot B, which completes your plate.